Okay, on the roof, take one million. One of the first things that we notice on this roof is it's in need of repair. It's not, it's not in need of replacement, but it definitely needs to need that maintenance that roofs need every five years. This one obviously looks like it's been going over the five year mark, but the things that we noticed that led to the opinion of it needing to be repaired is that there's several areas where there's some fasteners pushed through the shingles that need to be replaced. Easy area for water to penetrate. The second area is along the ridge, there's some areas where there's a lot of granule loss. With that granule loss, uh, the shingles will wear out in another area where water can get into. We have a few areas too that has some lifted shingles. The, fat, the flashing has some rust and corrosion and uh, it's definitely old probably going to recommend for replacement of the flashing uh, it's just too far past the saving point and then the final area was around the chimney when we did our first pass on the inside we noticed there was a water stain on the in the ceiling area so it led us to that area on the roof and that roof the siding comes all the way down you need that two inch gap so we can see the flashing but there's a lot of caulking around that area so it leads us to believe that they did a temporary repair for a permanent water leak so what we're going to do is getting off this roof, we're going to write it up that a roofer needs to come out and give it some maintenance, some TLC, and uh, let's go see what we can find next. Okay, on the front side of the property, one of the first things that we noticed is there was a drain pipe that was barely sticking out of the wall. We couldn't figure out what it was going into until we went into the attic space. We figured out that it was the, to the pan of the HVAC system. It needs to protrude out of the wall and actually have a 90 degree elbow on it, so above a window, so you know whenever it's leaking. Um, right now, the way it's installed, it's installed if it does start leaking, it's going to leak behind the wall and just start causing damage and you won't even know what's happening. On the second part of the find on the front roof is that we also had a lot of high soil on the property. High soil invites wood rot. But most of all, it invites termites and you won't even know they're there until they've caused some, a good amount of damage. So what we're going to do is recommend to, for the soil to be lower. Watch how the water is going to be draining around the property. So you still want proper drainage whenever you lower that soil and extend that pipe outside the wall. A good tip whenever you're looking at your properties is actually to look underneath these bay windows. This one it's fine, but I can't tell you how often I'll look underneath and it's completely rotted out and you'll even be able to see the insulation or even the sheetrock on the other side of the brick wall right here. So it's a good idea just to practice and uh, uh, practice looking underneath there to catch the damage underneath them. Another area on the exterior of the property, this is more of a general maintenance item, uh, is the soffit screens right here. This soffit screen is damaged and it's an easy area for rodents to get in and they like to live in your attic. So we wanna keep those screens down to keep all the rodents out. Okay, on the back side of the property now, we came across the HVAC system. I don't know if you can hear in the video, but it's actually pretty noisy. It's really dirty, so it's struggling to pull in the outside air. Some of the fin is da fins are damaged. I'm gonna show the serial label right here, and I'm gonna show you how to read it. Okay, so you can see it's a Goodman unit. You look for the tonnage in the model number. It's a three and a half ton. Two, the first two numbers in a Goodman unit are normally the year, so it's 2000. And then we are looking at our 22 Freon because I know because of the age, but let me see right here, our 22 Freon. Okay, so reading that serial, you know it's an older unit. It's a 2000 unit. Most Goodman units I see last around 10 to 12 years, maybe 15 if you're lucky. So it's 2018. You know you're getting some problems here. You know it's at the tail end of its life and you want to start either to negotiate this item or get ready to budget for replacement moving into it. Two of the last items I'm going to hit on this property is as I look down the south side of the structure, I know there's a lot of rock, but everything is dead over here, leading to me that, to believe that there's a lot of, there's uh, some drainage issues along the side of the property. And then the next thing is, is I noticed the fence is in pretty poor condition around the property. This is not a home inspection issue in the state of Texas, but I always still like to inform my clients and I'll throw a few pictures of the fence and I'll put it in there. Uh, there's no min there's a minimum standard, but there's no maximum. So we, we kind of go above the standards on this one. Okay, coming in the attic area, it's a little warm up here, uh, not too bad. But one of the unique things is actually this water heater right here. This water heater is a state, uh, state water heater. There's some 
minor corrosion around the shutoff valve and then around the connections there's some corrosion too as well but the most unique thing about this water heater it was built in 1979 and it's still working i didn't get any gas leaks it's still heating the water but still we're gonna let the client know that this one's coming close to the end of its life or it's at its end of the life and they would definitely want a budget to put in a new water heater okay we had a few more finds in the attic space right here uh, one of the first ones is, is actually the hvac unit it's a the secondary drain pipe right here it is capped and then we followed the primary and the primary line actually terminates into a old plumbing stack uh, and the plum and we found out that it's actually leaking with the thermal camera right underneath it because we got a lot of moisture readings right underneath it so um, we're definitely going to need an HVAC service and with it being a 2000 unit I know I said this already but for a Goodman unit and it being 2000 it's eight, 18 years old it's pretty much at the end of its life too okay uh, two more finds right here uh, following the duct work we noticed the duct work is laying across the ceiling over there it's not really good in the houston area for it to be laying across the ceiling that invites condensation and it'll create water stains across the roof the next area it's crimped right here behind me and that restricts the air that will restrict the airflow in that room that it's going to and the <laughs> mechanical exhaust vent in the attic space is actually um, terminating the attic that's an old way of doing it it needs to be terminating outside but right here you can even see where the moisture is building up on the sheetrock around it um, that's it for my quick finds in the attic space um, let's go downstairs and see well, one more pass on the inside and see what I can find. Okay, with the quick scan with that thermal camera, we hit all the areas where, we hit the whole house, but then we really focus on the areas where we think the moisture's coming in. We didn't get anything around the chimney, so their temporary repair on the chimney is working right now. But whenever we went into the master, we got a weird cold spot. I don't know why it took us a second, but it actually follows the HVAC lines over here. Um, that's not a huge issue. Um, it hasn't, it's probably been like that since day one. So um, it, doesn't, it hasn't caused any moisture penetration right now. Uh, but we'll let, we'll let them know. Also with it being old, we can just throw, we're gonna throw it in the HVAC section and let them know that's happening. Uh, the next area was actually with this uh, skylight right here. Uh, it hasn't rained in a few days, but we still have some moisture. We got our moisture meter ran across it and we caught some water too. So we got it on the thermal camera and the moisture area. The last find, it, we actually sent us back up in the attic uh, because we didn't, it sent us back up in the attic to try to really locate this and figure out the problem but in the laundry room what it was is a secondary drain line it wasn't connected properly and it was leaking in that spot we already wrote up it wasn't connecting properly but we wanted to make sure it wasn't plumbing or another roof leak um, all right that's it that's another some great finds with chris with a action again for the age of the property the area and i'm not really supposed to go into price but Overall, this property is not too bad. We talked it over with the client and we actually did another one with them and this one's way better. But that's Chris with Day Action. If you have any home inspection questions, please give us a call and always please share the videos. Thanks guys, bye.